hundred miles from Esmeraldas, high in the Andes Mountains, lie villages like Cristales, where small-scale farmers depend on the land for their survival. It is here in these poor rural communities that SEA, the Ecuadorian Agroecological Network, with expert help from Progresio, is promoting organic farming. For these farmers, it is a way to feed themselves and to earn an income, while protecting and nurturing the land, and so guaranteeing livelihoods for generations to come. Here in Cristales, Progresio development worker Miriam Salazar, an agricultural engineer, is running a workshop on how to make organic fertilizer. Look, when you're doing this, you need to chop it up small, like this, so we can soak it afterwards. It's better if you do it with a machete. Now, who wants to learn? Let's see how good you are. This is practical and it's the best way. It's not the same being invited to a workshop and sitting there watching what they are doing. This is a better way. It means we can see the results for ourselves. That's what we all want. Miriam is working with farmers in communities like Cristales to reintroduce traditional crops, which are best suited to the local environment. The project also promotes sustainable agricultural practices and helps farmers to increase their income by selling their produce in local markets. We really want our crops to be organic. But people from the towns need to relearn the value of this, of healthy food, of traditional foods from the area which are very good for you. I want to congratulate this project because it is recovering crops and food from this area that are in danger of disappearing. Through this project, Progresio wants farmers to be able to recover their seeds and their traditional knowledge, their traditional ways of growing food and feeding themselves. What we ate today, we prepared with local produce. They were smiling because it's been a long time since they've eaten this type of meal. By growing traditional and organic crops, farmers can be self-sufficient in growing food for themselves and their communities.